Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? So what I'm doing in this video, I just want to see a quick comparison. I already tested Samsung KS8000 with the same exact Samsung 4K HDR demo on my 65 inch KS8000 and I was really impressed with the update. You guys know that I was impressed with 1231.1 firmware update. Now, this is a 55 inch Q8 FN QLED television from Samsung. It's their top of the line, well, not top of the line, but one of the top of the line next to Q9 FN televisions. What I basically want to see here is just how much of a difference there is really now between KS8000 with its update and then this aggressive local dimming. Now, the key difference here that I obviously see is that full array, full array local dimming really brings those deep dark levels much, much more in, for the lack of a better term, intact, if you know what I mean. The deep dark digital levels, black digital levels look more intact and uh but honestly <clears throat> guys honestly excuse me honestly uh if i was to put these two televisions uh this one q8fn and my uh ksa thousand next to each other you would be kind of hard pressed to really see like a drastic difference between the two sure there's differences there when you measure it with the instruments and you're calibrating equipment, sure, you're going to find it on the charts. But visually, looking at it with your own two eyes, I mean, right now I'm looking at the Q8FN and I'm looking at the KS8000 previously today. I'll be damned if I see, like, any drastic difference. Now, granted, this television, it's much brighter than KS8000, but that extra 500 nits or that extra 600 nits, is it really that much of a deal breaker? Hmm? Now this is the question I've been asking myself, and this is a question an independent owner like me, who is not sponsored by anybody, ask himself the question, well wait a minute, is really that much of a drastic difference? Now. If you're living in a living room that's lit up with lights and you're running right next to the pool deck and the lights, it's coming from everywhere. I understand why you might want to use that 1,500, 1,600 nits or 2,000 nits, if you will. Or what was it? 1,800 nits, I think, was on uh, Q9FN. Is it 1,800 or 2,000? Something like that. But that's if you live in a, in a really bright uh, living room. But if you're not, if you're living in an apartment, small place, six feet away, I mean, is it going to make that much of a difference in terms of picture quality to you? That's the question I've been asking, and that's the question I pose to you guys. What do you think? Now you guys do remember this one. Now, granted, this is a 55-inch, and the other one's 65-inch, but, but honestly, I mean, I'm looking at both of these televisions. I've been looking at KS8000. I've been looking at this one, and I'm like, well, I don't see that much of a drastic difference between them, especially with this new update that the KS8000 has. Now, granted... Uh, Q8FN has full real local dimming, very aggressive local dimming, so Q8FN will have obviously much, much better viewing angles. Much, much better viewing angles. That's, of course, there's a difference there. But majority of you are going to be watching your TV from the center anyway. So the question is, is there a drastic difference in picture quality between KS8000 and Q8FN. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. 
I mean, I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know what do you think? I'm still on the fence. I still don't know, man. Uh, there's some differences, of course. But is it a drastic difference where you have to spend $2,000 or $3,000? Now, there will be an official review where I'm going to spend 43 minutes talk about Q8FN and why I call it uh, the most well-balanced TV. But then again, if you have a KS8000, does this justify you buying it simply for the picture quality? That's the question I am on the fence about. And I've been really thinking about this like real hard. Granted, yes, Q8FN has an amazing gaming features built in this TV. You can connect your monitor, I mean, you can connect your PC, play Doom and 120 hertz refresh rate. 1440p you can connect your Xbox One X and play in 120 uh, Hertz refresh rate with a free sync you know there's a lot of cool gaming feature features that this TV has and to me this is a complete package deal I'm not saying you shouldn't buy this TV but if you're not a gamer if you don't really emphasize too much into gaming and let's say you care about picture quality. If you have a KS8000 and you have this new update, I really, I mean, granted, there is full real local dimming here. It's a very aggressive local dimming. Granted, there's 98.7% the CIP3 color accuracy. I get all that. But looking at it with my own two eyes, I'm really like, hmm. Is there a big difference in picture quality? Now, the big difference is going to be in peak brightness. We all understand that. But how important is that peak brightness to you? Is that extra 500 nits uh, important to you? Or is it not? These are the questions I ask you guys. So I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you think? I've tested this exact same demo and I'm just uh, hard pressed to really see a major, major drastic difference in picture quality. Uh, I mean, really. And I've been looking at both televisions, I've been testing both televisions with these demos and uh, same thing with this rainbow here and I'm just like, um, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, Q9FN, Q8FN, it's, it's the ultimate package deal. You're getting everything. Picture quality, peak brightness, deep dark levels, viewing angles, game mode features, free sync, 120 hertz refresh rate, uh, low input lag. You're getting all of that. It's worth it. I'm not saying that it's not. But if you don't care about the gaming and you don't care about that extra peak brightness of nits, does this TV justify you spending another, another two grand or two grand or three grand instead of KS8000 that you already have with this new update? That's the question I ask you guys. And this is something I'm going to talk about uh, on my episode 10 Q&A uh, live stream that I'm going to have in the afternoon, late afternoon. And you all remember this video too, right? This one right here. This is in Czech Republic. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Granted, yes, this is a 55 inch TV. So much better uniformity, I get that. The other one's 65 inch, this is 55 inch, but still, the question remains. And this is something I wanna talk about 
uh, on my live stream episode 10 about this and what do you guys think what are your thoughts I'm kind of on the fence honestly do not get me wrong this TV it's worth every penny this Q8 FN it's worth every penny all right and I paid a pretty good deal for it it's worth it it's a really well balanced TV but then again if you already have KSA 1000 and you got this new update should you run out to the store this Thanksgiving this holiday season and go ahead and purchase this TV if you already have KSA 1000 and I think this will be a good conversation tomorrow for us to talk about on the episode 10 yes this TV has amazing aggressive local dimming you're gonna get the best possible deep dark levels that you can get on the LCD LED backlit there's no question about that but then again how much of a difference that makes and I've been looking at the KSA 1000 even though it's edge lit I've been looking at this if you look for the difference you will find that difference but if you if you put them side by side and, and you look from afar it is really hard to tell like a drastic difference in my opinion I don't know what do you guys think I want to hear your opinions your thoughts on today's live stream expert Joey will be there uh, I don't know if dirty sprite will be there but I know expert Joey will be there uh, so we're gonna talk about this you're also gonna have opportunity to ask me about the update uh, on how to use your Tom stick drive and how to detect to have your Samsung search automatically and detect if there is a USB dongle file detected there's a way to do that I'll talk about that there's a feature you can do that you can go on the support to go to the system and then you can select search on a USB search for the update on the USB stick and if there is a file there, uh, it will detect it. But you also got to make sure that you use your WinRAR. WinRAR, and you have to extract the image file onto a top-level folder. I might have to do a video to show you guys how to do that as well. Um, so anyway, you guys let me know what do you think uh, on today's uh, live stream. Like I said... It will be probably around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, most likely 5 o'clock. I'm going to do it. And uh, it's a good debate. I mean, I have both televisions, and uh, I'm kind of on the fence. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on a predicament. Yes, this is worth it. This is a complete package deal. But the question I'm asking, if you're not a gamer... If you're not a gamer and you just care about the picture quality, is it a drastic difference? And I don't know. I can tell you simply yes and no. I mean, yes, yes, and no. It's not that simple. Because this new update changes everything on the KS8000. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, so, there you have it. And please, guys, don't bother me about, uh, don't, don't ask me about people to whom I blocked, all right? It's my channel, my rules. When I block somebody, there's a pretty good reason, okay? There's a pretty good reason. I'm a fair guy. I give people chances. And if they screw up continuously, then I got to do what I got to do. 
I got to block you. Okay? That's simple. I don't enjoy blocking people, but sometimes certain individuals, they give me no choice. And I have to do what I have to do. Okay? I simply don't have time for BS. Guys. Anyway, I'll see you at the live stream. Q&A, episode 10. Later on today, probably around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, Expert Joy will be there. Maybe uh, Dirty Sprite will jump in, but I know Expert Joy will be there for sure. Why is Expert Joy there? Because he's my moderator. Okay? Behave yourself. If you write bullshit, he's going to have to remove you. That simple. Guys, I'm running this channel where I don't want to deal with BS. If you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. I will not lose any sleep over it. Believe me. Been doing this for four years. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the live stream today.